Identical twins are created when a fertilized egg splits into two parts with the same genetic information. Look at these twins. They have the same hair color, beard, and face except for their body length is different. Wait a minute. These aren't twins. They're different people living on other sides of the world and have just met their doppelganger. The debate of this video is, what prank would you do to your family if you became friends with your doppelganger? It's in your passport. People know you on the streets thanks to it. Even after many years not seeing you, you open your phone with it and go to the office or even buy a house. So your face is your identity and you think it's unique. Only yours until one day your illusions are shattered. Everyone has a doppelganger, or even seven, and such a thing is very normal, at least that's what the science says, but some old beliefs say that a doppelganger is your devilish twin and that it's a phenomenon that occurs only when people have the ability to travel to another stage of life and meet versions of themselves. Enough of mythology. So this phenomenon is very likely to happen, and scientists say it could happen more in countries with large populations, such as China or India. This also exists in the canine world, with different individuals of the same breed, but there are also completely different breeds that resemble each other, even though they're bred for different jobs. So in this episode, dog breeds that you can't tell apart. Alaskan Malamute, Siberian Husky one comes from Alaska, the other from Siberia. But they look exactly the same, wolf-like. Siberian Husky and Alaskan Malamute were bred to be sled dogs and later used for sled dog racing. But the Siberian Husky has been used for long distances, while the Alaskan Malamute for heavier sleds. Both are intelligent, friendly, and sociable, and have a very interesting activity, digging. Because that can happen in hot weather, they look for places to cool down or even want to master different things. Belgian Malinois, Dutch Shepherd. One from Belgium, the other from Netherlands. They're both bred to be shepherds and protectors of livestock. The Dutch Shepherd is used in the police and mostly in search and rescue missions, while the Belgian Malinois has more responsibilities and is even used by the Navy SEALs. Both are very intelligent, active, and independent. The Belgian Malinois requires more training because their energy can be misdirected. Lhasa Apso, Shih Tzu. Both originate from Tibet. They're very similar and look very cute. Shih Tzu is bred to be just a companion, while Lhasa Apso is bred to be an inside guard. Both are friendly, family-oriented, and socializing, but Lhasa Apso tends to command you more than Shih Tzu. Whip it, Italian Greyhound. One from England and the other from Italy. These twins are very fast. Italian Greyhound is bred to hunt, and the Whippet was bred to hunt too, but more as a form of entertainment, chasing animals in open arenas at high speeds. Both run fast thanks to their long legs and body structure, but Whippet runs somewhere 10 miles per hour faster than the Italian Greyhound. Boston Terrier, French Bulldog. One's from America, the other's from France but you'll have trouble distinguishing them. The Boston Terrier is bred for dog fighting, and the French Bulldog is bred for being a farm dog. Both are very intelligent, friendly, and lively, but they also have another feature in common besides appearance, and that's stubbornness. It's difficult to distinguish which is more stubborn than the other. Schnauzer, Scottish Terrier. One from Germany, the other from Scotland. These two similar dogs are excellent exterminators. Schnauzers have been bred to be an all-purpose dog, and one of their tasks has been to catch mice, and the Scottish Terrier has been bred for the same reason, to eliminate parasites on farms. Both are good family dogs and good watchdogs, but the Scottish Terrier is shyer than the Schnauzer and therefore may find it harder to socialize with strangers. Pomeranian Keyshawn One from Germany and the other from the Netherlands. These dogs are 95% similar. The Pomeranians were bred to pull sleds, guard houses, and protect livestock, while the Kinshan was bred to accompany and be a watchdog on barges and boats. Both are very special. Kinshan are known as intelligent and who always find ways to do things for themselves, and Pomeranians sometimes forget that they're small and threaten big dogs. Samoyed, American Eskimo Dog. One's from Siberia and the other from Germany, 
both look like snowballs. Samoyed is bred to hunt, haul sleds, and herd reindeer, while American Eskimo dogs are bred to be herders and guard dogs. Both are pack dogs, protective and socializing, but because of their double coat, the Samoyed adapts better to hotter climates than the American Eskimo dog. Vizsla Rhodesian Ridgeback One from Hungary, the other from Rhodesia, Zimbabwe. These two dogs look like brothers. Vizsla is bred for hunting, but mostly birds, while the Rhodesian Ridgeback has helped people in Savannah hunt lions. But differences are in weight as the Rhodesian Ridgeback is about 20 pounds heavier than the Vizsla. But Vizsla can run around 15 miles per hour faster than the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Pulley Commodore Both are from Hungary and look the same too. Pulley have been used for thousands of years as herding dogs and Commodore as cattle protectors against wolves and bears. Pulley are more active and more people pleaser while Commodore is shy but in his mind he's watching and trying to protect you. It's difficult to convince both because they're bred to be independent. This could be another common feature. Here are two other interesting videos we've picked for you. See ya!